Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm uh, just eating with my daughter. For this reason, <laughs> I, I cannot have on my camera, actually, but the, in the, five minutes, I will do it. Don't worry, don't worry. But the thing is that, well, the important thing is that you are here. It's a pleasure to have you here. And for okay. sure, keep, uh, finish, finish your dinner and we're going to start in a moment. Hello, Good Mr. Evening. Jorge. Good evening. Good evening. How, How are, are you? Fine. I am, I am doing great with a lot of rain, <laughs> but great. <laughs> Yeah, here in San Miguel, it's raining too. Yes, it's very hard. The rain is really hard. Here in San Salvador, it had just started like, what, like 20 minutes ago? It started, but it was very hard. And I was like, my goodness, I said. <laughs> but then it just... 5.30. Since 5.30, it started. Wow, and it hasn't stopped. No, but it, right now it's slow or soft, you say. Soft. Soft rain. Yes, because, well, here it was just like for soft a moment, rain. it was very hard, but then it just kept calm. It, it continues raining, but it's not as, as hard as at the beginning. The, the one thing positive here is that. Uh, no, I. There's no. There's no traffic. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. When when there is rain, there is no traffic. No, because here is a is a, a small city. Oh, okay. It's not, it's not San Miguel City. It's not this. It's not downtown. No. It's the it, suburbs. It's a. Like a village? Like a village near to the frontier with Honduras. Ah, so it's better, right? But here in San Salvador, when there is rain, there is traffic <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Hello, Cristia. Hello, Juan de Dios. At the office, still. Hello, teacher. I'm Good still evening. in the office. Oh, my goodness. Why? I couldn't leave before the storm. Oh, okay. Yeah. My God. Christian, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm very glad for the for be here. Yes. <laughs> yes, me uh, too. I was missing you. <laughs> in my house it's raining also, but I'm safe. <laughs> That's nice. I mean, once you are at home, I think you feel like, ay, que yo haga todo lo que quiera. <laughs> yeah, when you, are, when you are on the street, I mean, you feel worried. But when you are at home? Yes, for me, it's time to relax when to relax when it's raining. Yes, I think I, I, I can sleep better. Oh yes, I like I love to sleep when there's rain. It's it's really relaxing. I really like it. Yes, me too. Very nice. Well, today is July 25th. It's our class number 16. People, my goodness. After this week, we are going to have your vacations and then you have your final week when we come back from vacations. Okay? So, uh I hope you keep on practicing your English during that week. You are, please don't forget about how important is it to practice. It's like vacation, yay, no English. Mm -mm. No, continue practice. But that, that would be nice. Are you going to have vacations from your work? No. No vacations. For me, no. Yes. Juan de Dios, yes. Yes. From um, Thursday uh -huh. four to, to, to Monday. Sunday. 
Sunday. Oh, to Sunday, yeah. okay. Get up. Ay, permítanme un segundo. Get up. Ay, get up. Que ahora había trabado la pata en el alambre. <laughs> All my laptop, my things were going down. And I was like, oh no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, Yvette. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Uh, uh, almost finished dinner. <laughs> well, yeah, but it, it is very nice that you are here. I, am, I feel very glad that you have the chance to actually be here now after this long week of working and this long weekend. I hope you have rest a lot and for sure uh, to be ready for this uh, little little period of time that we are missing right so we are starting our class number 16 let me just share my screen with everybody and for sure just to catch up a little bit on what we were doing last week right i'm just going to move up a little bit during the previous week we have been studying a lot about the warehouse right we have been studying a lot about the warehouse we have studied about the different definitions we have practiced a lot of conversations, right, related to the warehouse, and we have done a lot of activities. I really appreciate to all the ones who were sending me the uh, audio, and it is a very good way for you to practice. And in some cases, I, I feel that maybe you feel the fear or the shame of recording something is like, me van a oír todo, que pena, no? But it is just a matter of going over the fear, going over the, the barrier of, of this, uh, this English thing that people believe that all the ones are going to listen to you to criticize you. But no, and I was really, I was listening to all of them. I have a couple of comments that we are going to do. Um, in a moment about pronunciation, but in general, all the, the audios were very accurate at the moment of reading. And please, uh, we're going to keep on working on these little activities of reading. And most of them were pretty good. Did you have the chance to listen to your friend's audios? Yes. Did, do you have any, any in particular that you like it? Mm, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. <laughs> it is, I felt like when you ask your husband, it's like, ¿Cuál me queda más bonito? All of them. <laughs> and, he hasn't, and he hasn't checked them all and you are like, mm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, you say, okay. Yeah, I, I really have to, I really have to say that I was listening to, to the recordings and I really like one in particular that was uh, Linda's audio. Have you heard about it? Have you heard it? Yes. So she has a very good pronunciation and <laughs> oh my god Nelson doesn't have energy. <laughs> he sent me a picture of a candle. My goodness. <laughs> I am driving, Silvia Suleima and Javier sent me the out. Okay, so for all the ones that are going to join in a moment, we're going to be here waiting for all of you. Well, so I, I really like um, all of them, all the audios, and it was, well, I felt that most of you did it very well. We have a couple of comments on pronunciation issues, like for example, when you say, however, right? However, therefore, and to make matters worse, right? To make matters worse, it's like one whole thing. It's one, one sentence, right? It's not to make matters worse, right? To make matters worse, furthermore, right? Furthermore. And when you say uh, this one is not called, this was called, called customer services, right? And many of you were mentioning called. And let's see, uh, delivery, which meant, meant, right, 11 p.m. Another one that I heard, um, following, called, passed, right, passed from person to person, spoke, right, 
satisfied. The next one. Uh, we have must. I must insist, right? I must insist. And immediate, immediate replacement, right? Immediate. The next one, future. Say future, future. And let me see, carry. Uh, what was the other one that I had? Carry, hallway, and let me see. I think it was just that one. I would be, would be, and grateful, right? Grateful. And this is so. This is not so far. This is so far, so far. Within, within the next fourteen days, right? And uh, delivery, right? And. That I think it was basically the ones that I got from the mistakes that I could listen to, right? So this is not firstly, this is firstly, 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 firstly. No, because we have the we have the the thing to say first, and it is not first, is first. You say firstly, 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 right? That was like the most common mistakes that I could catch. And uh, thank you to all the ones who sent it to me and to the ones that are missing. I am going to be waiting for it during uh, the morning tomorrow that uh, for us to finish with this one and we can go over the next activity. Okay, so um, besides this one, I ask you to work on the process that you were describing with your friends. Carito sent it to me, right? I got it from her. And... For all the other ones, I didn't receive it, but I hope you have it and you have finished working on it. Hello, Miss Tatiana. We were waiting for you on Friday. We missed you. Yes, teacher, but I had so overtime and I finished around nine. Oh my and God. One one day in a week and I have overtime. So oh uh -huh. so it that was my friend uh, Friday. <laughs> uh, that was the, fr the freaky Friday. Yes, because uh, I was there since 5 a.m. <laughs> my God. Oh yeah, so it's like it was a freaky Friday. So yes. Uh, also, Carolina is sending me a message that she is still in the traffic in Los Chorros, she says. Oh, my God. Poor Carito. Well, my dear class, let's work then. I hope you have had a fantastic weekend. I hope you rested a lot. And for sure, I hope you are ready for learning in another day of classes, right? Remember the agreements of your class, right? Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Keep the microphones off if we are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with their friends in the group. Or if you have any information that you consider good for the group, share it. Also work on the platform every single day. Today, we are going to be on class number 16. We're going to work on warehouse vocabulary and we are going to develop a couple of exercises for us to practice, right? Hello, Jose Carlos, tell me. No teacher, nada, tranquilo. <laughs> okay, I thought you were going to tell me something. Okay, good. Highlights about your weekend. Tell me one thing that you enjoyed this weekend. We're going, we're not going to talk about the good one or the bad one. Tell me about one thing that you enjoyed this weekend. One thing that you say, what a nice thing. I really like it. Tell me one thing that you enjoyed this weekend. I have one thing, teacher. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I, I want to share with you uh, that I really like uh, it, ham or hen? I don't know how uh, hen, a gallina. Hen, gallina. <laughs> and this weekend I ate hen, and I really feel that. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah. 
Okay, I think I think that that's one of the pleasures of life, right? Yeah. When you have a piece of hand straight from the from the grill, and you are like, yeah. mm, and, you, and, you yes. and I and I felt so happy because I I cook the the. the oh. Yes. Whoa, wow so that's another level because it's a different thing it's a different preparation and you have to do a lot for it not to be very hard and to be soft yeah. and chewable and nice so congratulations on the, oh, nice. <laughs> on <Thank> the <laughs> achievement <laughs> congrats congrats Christia we're going to have the graduation with hen with hen soup <laughs> Very good, Christia. So she enjoyed the hand that she ate during the weekend. What was something that you enjoyed from your weekend, people? Christia already shared. What about the rest? Uh huh. Only one thing that you say, like, que bueno, me gustó esa parte del fin de semana. Teacher, me. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Tani. La tiene. I really love when. I see net. I watch Netflix the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody. Yes, I really love that. I prefer to be at home. If I don't have to go out, for me, it's okay. <laughs> okay, you enjoy being at home. Me too. I mean, I am yeah. always on. I mean, I have to be working outside the house all the time. So the day that I stay home, that it's not the weekend, but it's during the week. I really enjoy it. I, I really enjoy my day off. So Me too. very good. You watch Netflix. Yes. That's cool. Let's see, Mr. Jorge, something that you enjoyed about the weekend. Let me think, teacher. Uh, something positive in, me, in my weekend could be, um, I, I was, eating a lot all the all the weekend but the positive thing is at the end of the sunday i can run 10 kilometers the the positive is that i was concerned about uh i i was eating a lot but i can i can you, run you, to, you could run Yes, to Say, sweat. I could. I could to to sweat something. <laughs> to sweat it out, you say. To sweat it out is like para sudar todo lo que había comido. To sweat it yeah. out. That's pretty awesome. Ten kilometers, right? Just like yeah. that. That's yeah. pretty nice. Well, it's pretty awesome. Thank you very much, Jorge, that you shared that. That you ate a lot. You ate yeah. deliciously okay. during the weekend, but you also exercised for you to burn out the calories. Good. Very okay. good. Mr. Juan de Dios, tell me something positive about your weekend. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I, I think I have two, two moments that I really enjoy. Over the weekend, the first was in the Saturday in the morning. On Saturday? Uh, I went to my son to play soccer. He is training in a soccer school Okay. for kids. And we went to play with another school. And I really enjoyed that because um, before I I couldn't go with him and all the moment I was um, I was um, gritar. cheering you, you were cheering him up Cheering is like, say, vamos, cheering, exactly. cheering. I am going to send it to you on the chat. Uh -huh. Exactly. And then we return wow. at home and a very tired, tired, tired. very tired. Uh, the next is for uh, Sunday. And uh, Sunday, I Gave a shower to my dog. <laughs> uh, 
I really enjoyed that. Okay, I shower the dog, you say. I shower the dog. Because if you say, I gave a shower to my dog, it's like if you get the shower and you give it to him, right? You said, I showered my dog. Good, I very good, Juan de Dios. Okay. Very nice explanation, right? Cheering him up. It's there on the chat. Cheer, cheer someone up. It's like when you say, like, vamos, tu puedes, vamos, dale, dale, dale. That's to cheer someone up. Okay, okay, let like, me like porras. exactly like that. It's animar, animar okay. a alguien. That's to cheer him up. It's like when you are sad and you say like, no, hombre, mira, dale, no, démosle que no sé qué, no estés triste, vamos, vamos, vamos. You cheer people up, right? It's like no, 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 no depression here. There's no time for that. So like, go, 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 go. Change your clothes and let's go out. You say, you cheer someone up. And let's see, I'm going to ask the last one. Yvette, tell me something nice about your weekend. Now, um, eh, for more than a year, I have been looking for someone to my, my el roof of my terraza. Uh, the terrace? terrace? Terrace, yes, the terrace. Yeah. yeah. And this weekend, finally, eh, 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 pude mandar a reparar. Oh, I finally fixed eh. it. You say, I finally fixed yes. it. So, no more leaking. I finally fixed it. Mm -hmm. Ya no My hay cotera. Ya. Eh, oh, your song <laughs> in love, love did it. Uh, yes. Uh, only uh, he loves uh, play in this place. Ah, um, nice. Uh -huh. Yes. So you, um, you could find someone to, to fix it out. Yes. Okay, yes. fantastic. After one year. Yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, anteriormente. Before. And to come or previous before, please, or in uh, this case you say before uh -huh. before uh, <laughs> okay, uh, I, I don't know no it's okay it's okay you can use antes the two of them antes era antes era de madera de ah, madera la ah, it used to be if it used to be made of wood it used to be made uh, of wood uh-huh and now and it's normal floor. And now, yes, iron or metal. Oh, it's metal. It's metal. It's metal. It's metal now. Hey, very yeah. nice. So, yeah. and I love the the the, the, the result, the finish. <laughs> the the finish. The, the you love the result, right? How it looks. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Hey, it's very nice when you do something that you have really looked for uh, for many, for a lot of a lot of time, right? I, I really enjoyed it. Well, something yes. that I can say about my weekend that I liked it. Um, well, um, there uh, were the places where, where I work on the weekends. Well, some students had presentations and they did a very good job because they were struggling a lot with the language. They had a lot of difficulties to learn, but they did presentations on the weekend and they were very good. So I was very proud of them. And today I felt very proud when I was listening to your audios. So I said, all the students are doing great. And I felt very really? happy. Yes? Really, teacher? Yes. <laughs> and when I, I, I was starting to listen to yours when you erase it <laughs> and then you send it back and I was like ah. <laughs> yeah, I was like in the in the middle I was like <laughs> se eliminó este mensaje and I was like my goodness I said, no. <laughs> well, but it was it was pretty it was pretty nice and you have uh, well I, I really love when, when you take this advantage to practice your fluency and everything. So it's very good. So we were talking about this one on the previous class, as I was telling you, we were working a lot on vocabulary. We were working a lot on, on the warehouse vocabulary. We were practicing the different conversations, also the transitional words. That was like the main thing of the week, transitional words. And for sure, 
we were working a little bit on the warehouse management, right? What was the meaning of this one? How, how we differentiate them from the stock control? We were working as well on the different vocabulary for the holding warehouse, the distribution center, the cross docking center. We did the exercises on the platform as well. And we were also working on transitional words or uh, the words that we use to express results, right? And we were working on the different conversations. We were practicing this one. Do you remember what was this conversation about? Uh huh. Yes, I remember. Hey, Mr. Manuel, you are here. I'm My here, God, teacher. You, you fly, you fly away yes. like, on the on the motorcycle. We were talking about Mrs. White and Daniel, and it says, "I'm going to I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already, right? The incorrect orders, right? Incorrect orders, and it says, "Oh, I bet." It happened during the days the system received maintenance. What was the meaning of I bet? I told you that one. Te apuesto. I said like, te apuesto que pasó en esos días. He's like, ay, yo más creo que pasó en esos días, right? So the department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers, right? Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. What did I mention? That was the meaning of overpaid? Pagar de más. Pagar de más, exactly like that, right? And I will send the documents to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Reimbursement was? Regreso. Uh, Reintegro. Reintegro, right? Reintegro, reembolso, right? Very good. So we were working a lot on the transitional words or the connectors with the result, right? We were talking about connectors as a result of an action, right? And we were using many more, but here on the book, it focuses more on as a consequence or as a consequence, as a result, consequently, right? And therefore, those are the ones that we practiced on the book last week. And we were also working on this exercise that is the one presented on the platform. We were telling that the punctuation that we use at the moment of Using the connectors can be the semicolon and comma or the capital letter and comma after the connector, right? We were checking on that uh, last week. And today we are going to work a little bit on uh, the different processes that we do in the warehouse, right? I have here, I have them marked here, but I am going to present them right here because they look a little bit more organized. Okay, I am going to call the attendance, my dear students, so we can move on business with the topic of the day. After this short uh, review that we did. Let me see. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. I am going to stop sharing so I can see your cameras. I can see many of you now. Hello, Linda, Normita, Rodrigo, Marlene, Diani, hello, Dani, Dani and Diana. <laughs> Rosa Beatriz, I can see your, your this part of your face only. Solo le veo la cabecita aquí en la frente. Y José Carlos siempre con su background espectacular de los rayos. Sorry, teacher. My condition is unstable. Okay, no, it's because your camera was very low. Solo le veía la frentecita. Hoy ya la veo. Hoy ya la veo no, bien. I know. I just told you because I don't know what happened. It says, um, I have... Unstable uh, connection. Yes, I have an unstable it's, connection. It's because of the rain. Okay. Yes, but when you listen to your name, please say here, okay? Okay. Carolina Yamilet, she hasn't made it. She was on traffic, she said. Claudia Maria. Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Okay. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. 
Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Genoveva. No. Miguel Domínguez. Nelson Gabarrete, who, ah, he didn't have electricity. Norma Carolina. Carolina. Present teacher. Carolina, se me trabó la lengua. Olga Marlene. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. She was driving, but. Present. There you go, you are here now. Thank you, yes, Silvita. right now. Thank you, Silvita. Uh, Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present teacher. And Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Okay, the one on one for today is going to be for Rosa Beatriz. So please, Rosita. Uh, we're going to stay for a couple of minutes at the end. Ah, no, Rosita had it last week, right? It's true. Yes, okay. Es cierto, nos movimos, nos movimos la semana pasada. Entonces, de la semana pasada se me quedó pendiente. Quiero ver. No, con Olguita lo tuvimos. Olguita tuvimos el one-on-one, -on -one, ¿verdad? I think no. Rocío. Rocío Verónica. No, Rocío Verónica lo tuvo. No, the last, the last week I had. Ella fue el lunes. El lunes. Norma Carolina, lo tuvimos también. Yes, teacher. Ajá, tuvimos con, también con Nelson, con Miguel. Eh, quiero ver, entonces me falta. Quiero ver. Ya Miguel ya lo tuvimos, lo tuvimos con Nelson, lo tuvimos con Norma, Olga Marleni. Y quiero ver, entonces hoy vamos con Silvia Zuleima. Le voy a robar unos minutillos al final, Silvia, ¿ok? Okay, teacher. Perfect. So let's move on business now. Thank you very much. And let's work. So we're going to work a little bit on, uh, for sure, the logistics of the work and all the workplace and the procedures, right? And the best idea to do procedures in the best way. We're going to do, as part of the rethinking shared, two questions, right? And I have two questions to analyze. The first one is, what are some of the most important factors to consider in a good working environment? And number two, what are the most important factors to keep work processes flowing nicely? Why, uh, okay, from these two questions, you can analyze any of them and I need you to write down some ideas for your answer, right? As I told you the other day, I need you to write down some ideas before you give me an answer, right? For you to give me a correct answer. What are some of the most important factors to consider in a good working environment? So for you, what is it important to have a good working environment? And the next one, what are, what are the most important factors to keep work processes flowing nicely? Okay, what are the most important factors to keep work processes flowing nicely? The work processes can be anything. Like for example, how to work well, how to improve the things that you do at work, how to uh, spend a very good day at work in a very nice flow, how to uh, finish the, the goals that you have set, like how to work with your group, right? What, is the, what are the most important factors to keep work processes flowing nicely according to you? What do you think? Or you can answer the first one. What are some of the most important factors to consider in a good working environment? What is for you a good working environment, right? So choose one of the two questions and write down some ideas because you are going to answer it, right? And I really need a complete answer, right? Now, I don't really want you to give me a list of things as an answer, but to give me a correct form to say like, well, I consider that some of the most important factors to uh, have a very good working environment are this and this. Why? Because of this and this, okay? A complete answer. 
ya no nos vamos a limitar a hacer respuestas cortitas. Hoy quiero ir a respuestas un poco más completas. Because I know you can do it. So, choose one of the two questions and create some ideas over it. Choose one of the two. If you want to answer both, that's perfect. Si quieren responder ambas, no problem. But I need you to choose one. Do you have your ideas, my dear students? Yeah? A little bit. Yes, teacher, no teacher. <laughs> no yet, teacher. No yet, very good, very good. Just, just teacher, I have one idea. You have one idea. Did you build it up already? Ya la tienes creada, ya para contestar? Uh, I... <laughs> I guess, <Okay. laughs> I consider, yes. <laughs> okay. I consider that it's ready, you see. Okay. Is it number one or number two? Number one. Okay. Uh, Tell me your idea. Uh, I consider some of the most important factors to consider in a good working environment is work like a, a team. Mm -hmm. It means... Uh, all the group being focused in the in the world that they need to reach. Okay, to be focused on the goal that you need to reach. But what about this one that you told me? Some of the most important factors. What are some of the most important factors? If you say, I consider that some of the most important factors are, you have to mention more than one. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> and in that case, you mention only one, working as a team. So build up a little bit more the idea. What are the other things that you need to consider? Um, uh, the, the use of the technology. Okay, the use of the technology. How? To, to improve the process. Uh -huh. Maybe you, you need to, to put in practice some... Uh, some kind of software to reduce the time, maybe control the deliveries. But that is going to be for the second question. Ese sería para la pregunta dos. 
how to keep uh, work processes flowing nicely. Because, well, if you use technology for sure, at part of your, of your processes and everything, for sure they are going to be easier for everybody. And they are going to be, a, it will be easily controlled at the moment of developing the process. But what about uh, the good environment? What do you consider important for the good working environment? You told me to work as a team. Give me another reason. ¿Qué es otra cosa que hace el ambiente laboral mucho mejor? Uh, maybe the owner has to be some kind of, I don't know, uh, involved in the process, maybe. Very good word, right? To be involved when the leader is involved in the process. Very good. So the, you see, I took your answer further, right? Le llevé su respuesta mucho más allá. <laughs> Not only in the, in the really, really based form. Okay, another answer. Thank you, Jorge Humberto. Very good. Uh, very good answer for both cases. Very good. Hard for you. Another one, Diana, tell me. Yes, I, cho I chose <laughs> the I chose. same <laughs> question. Of Jorge, the number one. Um, I think that one of the most important thing, uh, things for a good environment at work is the communication, to know how to express your ideas using an assertive communication. And with this, and also important is the respect with all the people at your work. And with all, with all of this will be easier to work as a team and have a great place to work. Very good job, very good answer, right? Fantastic answer. What is the main thing? Communication, right? Communication is the best part of everything. And for sure, if you work together, you are going to have a great place to work. Excellent. Very nice, Diana. Very nice. I need another volunteer. Um, uh -huh. Good evening. Hi. Uh, well, about, yeah. Hi. about this uh, question, I consider the most important factors are employee satisfaction, satisfaction uh -huh. and the, something like the schedule, like Diana, something like Diana said, and also have the correct materials or tools to do the work correctly. Um, for example, uh, have a computer, uh, cell phone, Wi-Fi, etc. Because I think it's awful mm -hmm. to use my own <laughs> um, to do my own my my work. Exactly. So I think it's one of the most important factors. Okay, very good, very good, Rocio Veronica. Excellent job. Excellent description, right? To have the necessary equipment, right? To have the necessary equipment. Because for sure, when you need to work on something, it's like, imagine if a teacher needs to give a virtual class, but he doesn't have a computer, how is he going to do it, right? If the person doesn't have internet, for example, how is he going to teach the class? So you need to have the correct equipment. Very good. Excellent answer, uh, Rocio. Let's see who's the next one. I need another volunteer. Go ahead, Mr. Manuel, yes. Oh, we, we, okay, Manuel, Jose Carlos. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, Jose Carlos, and then Manuel, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Well, teacher, I choose the number one. I chose. I chose the number one question. So for me, yeah. Uh, I guess the most important factors to work in a good environment uh, are, are the trust in your team and the honesty and for sure the communication, right? That's why, because if you have a partner in your team that won't provide you no know, confidence, you don't feel as well, right? And exactly. also another thing, another important thing is is that we need to respect the different opinion, yeah. Right to and respect where, opinions. Where where all the where all the team can provide their themselves opinion, um, 
he, and to be uh, sorry, I, I forgot the words. Uh, where all your teams should provide themselves opinion. Yeah. Okay, to complement each other, right? To complement yeah. each other with the ideas of the group, right? That's yeah. that's a very good thing, right? To trust. I really like that part, and I'm going to get that one from you. To trust on your team, right? Because it is there's nothing better than you know that someone else is going to do his or her job without you being over him or her, right? Because I know that uh, this person is going to do his or her part and that it's the best part, right? And if you don't trust one member of the team, all the team is not going to work well. And that's really nice. Very good, Tatiana and then Manuel. Uh, teacher, uh, well, I decide to to think about the the first question what are the what are some of the most important factors to consider in a good working environment i think uh, we have to have positive values because values because um, and we have to be focused because when when we are care about the life of the other people we we te we used to we tend to right that was we the tend word. to to talk about the the other person and i think is is that is very common in all the in all the jobs in all the works i don't know what is the the, the right work, word workplace the workplace and i think the the most important thing uh, we have to be focused and we have to try to to focus on the on the job okay to focus on what you to focus on what's important right that it's the, that's the word to focus on what is important and i know there are some times on which i mean there are specific times on which you are going to talk on which you are going to share on which you are going to enjoy at your workplace but it doesn't have to be the main thing to do during the day. I yes. remember that in my previous job, I had a person who was like 7.05 in the morning and she was like, que onda, boss? And she started talking about, about yeah, everything. <laughs> no, but she started talking about everything. And I was like, sí, yes. uh -huh, but it, it, you do remember we're working on this and this. Perate, vamos a hacer eso. And she was talking and talking and talking about her life, about everything. And she yes. was not focused on what, what is important. Yes, because the company, it can be the best company, but sometimes it's the people who... <laughs> who work. <laughs> yes. The ones who ruin the processes, okay? Yes, because we can, we can have the necessary and we can have all the tools, but sometimes I think it's, it's not the company, it's sometimes the people. So we have to be <laughs> focused on... The, 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 okay, the type of things you go and do at work. And last but not least, Mr. Manuel, go ahead. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I chose the, 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 first, the first one. Question. Uh, what are some of the most important factors to consider? Well, I consider the most important for me, in my opinion, is a, a good communication. Uh -huh. For example, uh -huh. uh, in my in my work, um, there are many people that I I don't know because uh, there there is there isn't communication. Uh -huh. in, for instance, uh, the my boss uh, told me, "Hey, Manuel, uh, you know, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Julia? Uh -huh. No, I don't know. Uh, oh, it's a, this is a problem because they they have a uh, uh, documents to to deliver." On the client because she is um Ciudad Delgado. Uh -huh. she, uh -huh. I don't I don't 
eh, eh, no. Eh, you don't know her. Yes, you don't have communication. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is that is, that is a very important factor. As all your classmates were mentioning, if there is good communication, the work is going to flow nicely, right? Yes, the processes and, are going to be easier. Yes. Uh, also, uh, many many years ago, yeah? yep. uh, the the main the main boss is correct. The well, the the, the uh, boss you say be, because the main <laughs> boss I think it's like there it's like the boss, and then we have the CEO, the manager, okay, the, boss, the boss of the bosses, <laughs> the top the top boss. <laughs> yeah, the top boss uh, when. When he was in the, in the company, he made uh, meetings. Uh, do you say, llevaba a la playa? <laughs> hey, he used to take us out. He used take, uh, to take us out. The importance of this, of, of, uh, of this meeting or Take off, for example. You know, you you know. You knew the most because of, it was in the past. You knew. You knew, oh, okay. The the most of the co-workers because for the activities to realize in these activities. Okay, yes, you had the chance to actually share with other people, right? You had the, yes. the opportunity to share. And, uh, well, thank you for, for your answer, Manuel, and thank you all for uh, giving your point of view. I know you have very good ideas on this one, but if you have a very good working environment, for sure you are going to have uh, all these uh, processes flowing nicely because if the, the team is working well, all the processes are going to work well. But if the team is not working properly, the processes are not going to flow nicely. Maybe the ones that are virtual or the ones that are uh, on a computer, but most of them need to flow because of the great environment that you have. Okay, so based on that one, I am going to show you some pictures. What do you think it's the situation here? What do you think is the situation there? Ideas? Stress. <laughs> stress. 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 What is the situation Lasso. there? Lasso. No, he doesn't present the report from <laughs> the bus. Okay. Okay. I have a lot of work. Uh, it has a lot of work. Do you know what is the word for you uh, to use when you don't present the work on time? procrastination procrastination is when you don't do the things on time so here you have procrastination i'm going to, to send it to you and in some cases we all procrastinate and we say tomorrow i am going to do it tomorrow later later and this later never comes and this tomorrow never comes. And when the bus comes and says like, Natalie, do you have the reports? They were free yesterday. And you're like, hee, and then these things happen, right? So based on this one here, you see, you can have a lot of issues, right? Procrastination, stress, lack of communication, a mess at the work, right? And everything. But what about this one? Uh, teacher. Yes, Carolina? Uh, good evening. Hi. We, we're happy that you made it. <laughs> yeah, uh, for communication between the uh, boss and co-worker. It can be also the communication between the boss and the co-worker. It's like, Martinez, but why did you do this process like this? You told me, boss. It's like, no, I didn't say anything. And th that can be a problem. What happened here? What is the problem there? Maybe the, the company needs to, needs to do a new inventory. Okay, the company needs to do a new inventory. A bad, a bad management. Bad inventory. management? The articles <laughs> are in the floor. The articles no, the, are on the floor, right? The articles are on the floor. The warehouse is smaller. 
the warehouse is too small, right? And what, and what about this one? <laughs> what is the problem there? What is the problem in this one? It's too difficult. Imagine if they say, give me the product that is on the brown box. Oh. <laughs> Which, Which one? one? Which one? All of them are the same. They don't have oh, label, really? they don't have a name, they are not organized, right? They so management. <laughs> they don't have warehouse management, right? They have a lot of difficulties with this. So we're going maybe, to go back. Uh -huh. Maybe an earthquake. It's happened. <laughs> Maybe an earthquake, earthquake. An earthquake happened in this After one. The <laughs> <laughs> because imagine on this one, if imagine if they say like, yes, los tornillos están en una caja café. But then you say, how do you know where these things are? Which one? Where? Are the <laughs> Which box? Right? The yeah, it's like. They're, they don't, they are not labeled, they are not organized, they are not categorized, they are not properly placed. So this can be a big problem with the warehouse, right? And this is going to bring problems with communication and for sure problems with the customers and problems with the shipping, problems with everything. So you see, we are problems with logistics. We are going to go back with the pictures in a moment. I'm going to go over the definitions, right? Remember when we were talking about the inbound processes, right? That everything has to be right completely order. organized, right? The right orders on the right vehicle, on the right time and the right delivery, right? It has to be a complete organized process because for sure you need to, uh, okay, you need to complete everything on the exact time. What about uh, this one? Oh. <laughs> this is for later. The layout and slotting, right? The layout and the slotting. It is something that is not happening here, for example, because on the slotting, you have to have the fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often bought together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other should be separate, right? You need to have the correct slotting. What is the slotting? Todo el, el, el apilado que se hace, todo el orden de las cajas, de lo que tiene en todo el almacén. So it has to be organized for you to know. Imagínense que lo que más vendan ustedes en su, en su almacén sean, por ejemplo, los, ¿qué? Los, las lámparas, por ejemplo. No va a tener las lámparas ahí al final de la bodega, metidas abajo de otras cajas. No, for sure not. It has to be in a place where you can go and get them fast. Right, that should be important. The picking, it must be easy for your pickers to find items and their journey time between items and between orders should be minimized, right? You have to have the things at hand. You don't have to be worried about looking for things. You have to have them at hand. What about packing? Your orders must be packed in the right packaging, complete, with an accurate content slip. What is a content slip? If you have a product, it has to have a name on it, right? It has to have a name for you to know what you have inside, right? They need to be added to a delivery manifest for dispatch, for sure. If you know what it is on the box, right? Si saben que es lo que tiene cada caja, in this case, for example, we don't know, the, uh, Packing would be a lot easier. And for sure, the shipping. Items need to be checked and logged as they are received and put away in the correct bins, right? When you receive a shipment or when you send a shipment. And they should be packed for this patch, uh, sorry, without further storage. So you need to be careful at the moment of shipping your products, right? As soon as they get, as soon as they come to your, uh, to your place, to organize them, right? And when you are going to take them out, for sure, you need to keep them organized. And what about managing returns? This type of goods need to be unloaded and checked off against the original order, 
because maybe there was a problem in the process, right? And the information has to be logged against the customer's account for you to see if what you are getting back was incorrect with the customer's needs. Maybe the customer wanted to have pink shirts and you sent purple ones, but the person who wrote the color didn't know English. And he said, a pink, yo creo que pink es, se escribe purple. <laughs> and then he made a mistake and for sure you sent an incorrect order. And you need to work on managing returns. Okay, so based on this one, with these ideas uh, on, on your mind, I am going to have you working in trios, right? You are going to work in trios and I need you to choose one of the three situations, right? This one, this one, or this one. Situation number one, situation number two, or situation number three. Choose any of the three. Vean cuál es la que más le llama la atención. Because you are going to create a little interaction, a little situation based on the picture, right? Ustedes van a crear una interacción entre las tres personas basado en la foto que escojan, ya sea la foto uno, la dos o la tres. ¿Ok? Van a crear una situación en torno a esta imagen. ¿Ok? In this one, for example, you can be the boss and you can be the employees and you are having issues because of something, right? And you are going to create the situation. In this one, maybe you are the one in charge of the warehouse. You are the one in charge of the inventory. And this is happening. And maybe on this one, you are going to talk with your co-workers about this situation. Why did they pack them like that? Maybe they don't have the correct material. Maybe they don't know. Maybe they are not trained. So choose one of the situations, the one that you consider better. And I am going to have you working in groups of three, okay? Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres y vamos a hacer una situación cortita, una interacción cortita basado en cualquiera de las tres imágenes, okay? It doesn't have to be that elaborated. It has to be something short, okay? A situation at or work, right? ¿Qué pasó en nuestro trabajo? Escojan una de las tres. Let me see. Oh, no, no. I need to make less. Okay. And here we go. I am going to create the groups right now. Sure. Yes. Can you show the picture number one, number two, please? Okay. Picture number one is this one, right? Picture number one. Okay. Picture number two is this one. And picture okay. number three is this one. Depending on the one that you consider okay. better, right? The three pictures. And your situation is going to be represented with the picture, okay? La imagen va a representar lo de lo que ustedes van a estar hablando. Okay, I am going to send you to the groups. I have only five groups. And let's work. Let's work on this one. Choose your situation first. There you go. Jose Carlos, did you receive my invitation to work? Jose Carlos, did you receive my invitation? Mr. Jose Carlos.
¿En qué orden están las, las imágenes? No las vi. Uh, de desorden. Uh, ah, this. Where are the bottles? Is the number two? Number, number two or number three? To me, number, number two. two. And you? Mm -hmm. Me too. Okay. Okay. This is the... Yes. Teacher, <coughs> how can I say exceso de mercancía? The microphone. Teacher, the microphone. <laughs> and that's the secret of eternal love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, when you say like overload, overload of merchandise or um, excess of merchandise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Or yeah. an overload inventory. Oh. When you have when you have an excess of inventory and you continue producing and producing and getting more, right? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, excess of Ex merchandise. Excess of merchandise or inventory. Okay. In this case, I think it's necessary a change of the bus, the production. Okay, a change in the production, right? Uh, 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 don't you think that it would be a bigger warehouse? Yes, yes, <laughs> a bigger warehouse. Yeah, to have to handle all this excess merchandise, it can be right. Decide, decide on on what you are going to to talk about it and how you are going to build up your interaction. Tiene que ser una conversación corta, una interacción corta entre las tres acerca del problema que tenemos ahorita. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to the next group. Okay. Hello. Surveillance Hi, camera. A surveillance camera. Camera. Surveillance. Surveillance. Why, why do you need a surveillance camera for? What situation are you working? Because I'm watching. I watch it. Picture number two. Okay, but the, the the you you chose the excess inventory. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. You have an overload okay. inventory. Why why is the camera for? Para qué la cámara? For me. Sorry. And the, uh, the boss, the boss, Linda. <laughs> ah, Linda is watching you to see yeah. who L Linda is watching us to see Sorry. to see who is the one who is the one who takes the products like that. It's like, I, alguien, alguien va a dejar los productos y solo los avienta. Hmm. Juan de Dios. <laughs> Juan, Juan. Say disorder, teacher. A disorder, mass. disorder, mess. Disorder. No, mass is misa. Mess, <laughs> mess is disorder. Mess. What a mess, mess. you say. A mess. Uh -huh. A mess is disorder. Okay. 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 Juan de Dios is the one who just throws the products away. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, aquí que se queda. Aquí me va a tocar arreglar. We need, we need to order the product. To organize. Eh, to organize. To organize. Because to order is when you ask for. During the night. So. Eh, that, that's I why need... you are at the office. <laughs> that's yeah. why. 
That's why you are at the office. I, I, I need to return to the warehouse. Oh my God, go to the warehouse. I'm going to check on the next group, okay? Go ahead. Uh, uh, hi, teacher. Hello. Teacher, we have questions. Tell me. Uh, we don't know. We only have to describe the situation, the scenario, or we have to create like a you have to create You have to create a little interaction based on the problem. Right, we ah. have the we have the problem. I have just I, I was just working with a group, and there they place a surveillance camera on the warehouse to see who was the the worker who was throwing the objects away <laughs> for situation two. So what uh, what is the situation that you are going to build up? Are you going to be the stress boss lecturing the the no, workers? The number two. The number also, two, the, the, big, the big mess on the inventory. Yes. So there you are going to say like, what is going on? Who is in charge of the of the warehouse? And you are going to say like, hey, what's going on with this warehouse? It's a complete mess. And say so like, no, and Norma can say, but no, but Mr. Jorge is the one in charge of organizing it. I need to talk okay. to him. And say so like, okay, Mr. Jorge, can you come to the office? And then say so like, uh-huh. Mr. Jorge, what is going on with the warehouse? Uh, we don't have a space. We need a bigger warehouse, boss. And then you can solve the situation. It's like, aha, uh -huh, but even if it is a small, you need to keep it organized. I don't know how to organize things. Ah, Mr. Norma, Miss Norma can help you, right? And Norma can give you some ideas on how to organize it, right? Or something like that. But the idea is that you build up a little situation for you to mention the problem and find like a quick solution. Okay. Okay, so based on that one, think about it and I'm going to come back in a moment, okay? Okay, good. I don't know if you wanna Uh-huh. Yeah, hope it takes a while. What are you working on? Hi, teacher. Hi. With the second one. With the second Hey, many, yeah. many of you like the second one. I, I thought you were going to choose the first one. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. ¿Qué pasa? I love the connection. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can listen to you. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I could listen to you. Yeah, I think it, it is the. It's because of the rain. Yeah, it's raining really hard again. So uh, you are working on situation number two about the warehouse. Yeah. yeah. And what is it going to be the problem or who is going to be doing what? Uh, it's like a we, we made a dialogue. A dialogue, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And Crisia is looking for the screens. Uh-huh. And I'm the co-worker too. <laughs> and I'm in charge of the warehouse. And I will uh looking for the 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 this thing that Christian needs. Uh -huh. But first we need to organize all the warehouse. <laughs> and then Christian me regaña. Christian <laughs> <laughs> lectures me. No, so like... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, let's see. Christian, I have a problem with my internet. So Ay, I, I yeah, there you go. You are back. Estás de vuelta. Te podemos escuchar de nuevo. Yeah. There you go, Christian. Ya te vemos. Ay. No me puede oír, dice. Ajá. Uh, I have the same the, the same problem a few minutes ago. Yeah, it's because it's the mm -hmm. it's the internet connection. It mm -hmm. happens, and as yeah. it is raining, the internet gets worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this a little problem. Little a little, problem. Marlene, can you, <laughs> can you listen to us, Marlene? I don't think so. Marlene. Marlene. Let's see. Jorge me lo saca y me lo saca y me lo saca acá. <laughs> there you go. Now, Cristia, can you listen to us? Yo oigo a Cristia, pero ya nosotros no. 
I, I can hear. Christian. Let's see. <laughs> I am going to send her a message. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like 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 the memes where, where people start talking and talking i don't know what happened with my internet but i already connected with my cell phone but i don't have in the group <laughs> no but you are here uh, yeah you, you here. are you are in the ah wait 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 let's see we are group number four right there you go okay all right i, I invited she seems to ah okay she's in, into devices into device okay there you go and marlene i don't know if marlene can listen to us there you go i have christian and christian <laughs> hello we can uh, listen to you very well in both yeah. devices. No. I don't know what happened to her. Yeah, it's the, because of my friend, internet. my friend, the internet. <laughs> Thank, thanks yeah. to Tigo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened, but I have a bad connection with my laptop, but in my cell phone, it's very good. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, let's okay. keep on working, keep on working. And I don't know if Marlene is going to listen to us. No sé si nos oye, pero Marlene. <laughs> okay, if not, keep on working, okay? I will come okay. back. I will see what, what are the other ones doing right now. Voy a ver okay. qué andan haciendo. Okay, thank you. I will come back. Ajá. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> What happened? Um, no sé si ser la que ayuda o la que regaña. <laughs> be, the, be the one that, that lectures. Sea yeah. la que los regaña a todos. La que los... <laughs> la que hay más. No, no, fíjense que a veces, a veces yo creo que siempre es bueno que haya alguien así fuerte. Porque si todos somos como, ay, no, no te preocupes, que nadie hace nada. <risa> um, bueno, estamos, eh, hay un problema. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está en desorden. Entonces, no encuentran el pedido. Ah, very good, very good. Huh? The, the, you cannot find the, the, the product to deliver. Yes. And the customer is outside. Can I have my product, please? It's like, in a moment, in a moment. <laughs> and then you move and move things and you cannot find it, okay? Build up the situation. We have a couple of minutes left. Nos faltan unos minutitos para terminar. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Juan de Dios. That is the reason that we are not according we not to do overtime. Not according. We do not agree. We do not agree. We no, not estamos agree. de acuerdo. We are not according. It's like no, they, vamos, they, no vamos de acuerdo. Uh -huh. They both are very rebel. <laughs> you are very rebel. But no. she's the boss and she's paying your salary. Like <laughs> My God, they don't like, they love the mess, but they don't like working. <laughs> Ay, mi niña. Come on. Well, Come on. Uh, bad boss. Yeah, you are a bad boss, you see. <laughs> no. We are, uh, re we are rebels workers. Rebel, Rebel workers. <laughs> I know, but they need to work. They need to work. If 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 Linda wants to obligate us, <gasps> we are going to uh -huh. to demand her. Yeah. 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 
just just because you need to organize the warehouse. <laughs> I I remember. You know, I I got when I got this picture of the warehouse. I remind, um, I remembered a place where I work that we had this little warehouse, right? But when I opened one of the boxes, a big rat jumped over me. <laughs> and I was like, ah! Yes. And I said, me niego a ordenar la bodega. <laughs> because I just opened one. You no, know, I, 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 I opened one box and then the animal I... jump over me. Oh, no, no. Uh, the products were full, maybe. No, no, no. Oh, the ingredient for food. No, the products were like uh, things for games and paper and stuff because it was oh. at the school. But I know. Paper like the rats. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, rats love yeah. paper. They love to chew it and to eat it. Mush. Cockroach. Ah, the cockroach too, that's very horrible. Well, yes. you finish your conversation because we're about to, to finish. We're about to work, okay? We are about to start. So finish your conversation, go ahead. Okay. Uh-huh, did you finish? <laughs> I am coming back. I am coming back. Yeah, yeah Okay, practice, yes. practice, practice, please. I am going to come back in a second. Practice, practice, practice that boo you can see <laughs> hi teacher hi i scared teacher don't ah you were scared ah so picaro dice mi mamá my mother used to say that cuando uno se asusta fácil no so, picaro es miedoso <laughs> that's what she she says <laughs> Uh-huh. So did you finish working on the, your conversation? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Practice it, please, because we're going to present in a moment right now. Okay, go ahead. Okay, practice. Sure. Practice the conversation. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. I was mingling around. Yeah. Did you finish your conversation? Uh, so, so. More or less. <laughs> More or less. Which which work which image are you working on? Uh, the first one, teacher. <laughs> the angry. I'm boss. going to be. I'm going to be the the bad boss. <laughs> <laughs> and you, the poor exploded co-workers. Yes, I, I ask him for many 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 things for today, and we don't have. Uh, more time just today <laughs> and they have to finish today <laughs> poor poor exploded co-workers oh my yeah. god and you are like and i need them right now i need you to work on them. and i and i'm doing i don't going to help them. i am not going i am not going to help them i am not going to help them help 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 them Help them. My goodness. Practice, please. Practice your conversation because we are going to start right now. Practice, practice, okay. practice. Okay. And Marlene disappeared. Yeah. Yes. So you are going to have only the bus and the poor co worker. Oh my god. <laughs> Pobrecita. No, we are two co-workers. No. Ah, you are two co-workers. Yeah, That's co -worker. good. That's good. Yes. Yeah, because there is, I was in the other group and Tatiana was the angry boss. <laughs> Hitting the people there with the chilillo. <laughs> yeah, I, I was checking on them and poor poor workers, my God. They they were with a with a piece of chili or they're fighting. Yeah. Okay, prepare your conversation. We are going back to start okay. in a moment. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Mr. Jose Carlos, why aren't you working with your group?
Hello. Hello, hello. Jose Carlos, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, but my network was que la luz se va y se viene, entonces me cae ah. el inter, por eso estoy así. Okay. Um, okay, and I'm like, why, why, where are you? Okay, but we, your classmates were working on a team. Tenía a sus yes. compañeros trabajando en grupo acerca de las situaciones. Yeah. Danny, sí, Anthony, sí. no sé si me escucha, siempre lo veo ahí, no sé si me oye. I am going to talk to Danny then. Let me see. And I will look for Danny. Okay, so the students are going to come back in a second just for them to present. And uh, we're going to listen to their presentations. Let me see. My God, it's raining really hard. And that's a problem with the internet. Yeah. Okay, let me look for Mr. Danny. I don't have Danny on the WhatsApp to talk to him. Well, I'm going to bring everybody back. They have 60 seconds to come back. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Thanks. We are here in the middle of the rain. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's raining a lot. Yes. yes. I was I was checking on the leaking that maybe I'm not going to get it on the food. <laughs> I lost the connection a couple of times. Yeah, I, I saw that you were going out and coming back, going out as, and coming back. As, as a result, I, I can't finish the, the homework. I teacher. couldn't oh. finish. Dígale eso a su jefa. He was the boss. <laughs> oh, he was the boss. Okay. Uh, so he, he has this, like, uh, you see, as I didn't have connection, I couldn't finish. And yeah. there's my problem. You are not receiving your salaries this week. <laughs> they were like, mm, ah, qué lindo, no, jefe. Life is hard. No, no, no. Life, life is hard. <laughs> Let's see. Group number one. I have Yvette, Jose Carlos, Olga, and Silvia. Well, Jose Carlos is here. I have Yvette, Olga, and Silvia. Presentations ready. Yvette, Olga, and Silvia. What situations did you choose? Number two. Uh, the situation number two. Go ahead. Hmm. Relax okay. a moment. Go ahead. Action. Sule, I need to check an order, but the warehouse, it is really unorganized, we, and we can find the products. La Sule, she Sule. left. <laughs> Sule. Sule. The warehouse is really disorganized. Where are you? Let me see. Silvita. Excuse me. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I need time for organize the products and complete the order. Olga, Sule, I see that you need help. It is necessary to organize ourselves. 
send your hair to this place that ordered right now. Thank you, Beth. Thanks. Hi, what a nice boss you are. Ah, <laughs> you were very nice and kind. A clap for you. Very good. It's like we need to solve the situation, right? A couple of come up a, a couple of things to to fix. You say the warehouse is disorganized, right? Disorganized. And for dispatch, like when you are going to give it out. Very good job. And we're going to go with the second group. Group number two was, let me see, Danny, Juan de Dios, Linda, and Miguel. Well, Danny didn't have a lot of connection eh, because he had connectivity issues. So Juan de Dios, Linda, and Miguel. Okay. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Hola. Uh, good evening, guys. Good evening. I'm checking, the, I'm checking the surveillance camera and I noticed there is a big mess during... at the warehouse. Who is in charge? Who is in it's charge Miguel. of the warehouse? It's Miguel. Miguel, what happened? It is not my full responsibility. I won't. Why? I need your help to organize the product. What can you I do for you? For don't pay you? Overtime. you don't pay overtime, boss. And I'm interested of course in, I do. I'm interested in retiring at my five o'clock. My family is more important. Okay. Guy, I need help, your help to organize the warehouse. And if the product is damaged, I'm going to have, you are going to have to pay for it. You are only interested in exploiting me, you pay overtime. Yes, mm. I do all that this thing was to buy pizza. Oh. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Juan de Dios. That is happen? not I problem. Okay. That is not our problem. What can because, I do for uh, help you? The 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 warehouse is a smaller, and the excessive inventory is is a lot of. Uh, the warehouse is not enough. The problem is that the order are arriving at the same time. For the last month, are, are arriving. And then, as a result, we are uh, putting the, the products on the floor. <laughs> but guys, in the surveillance, I'm watching you that all boxes are throw up everywhere. I need organized. I'm going to send you two guys tomorrow and you have to organize the, the warehouse. And I'm going to invite the dinner. It's okay for you? Yeah, it's okay. We are going to do our better effort that we need okay. to, to pay overtime to too. For overtime. Okay. The order Thank you, guys. Okay. Okay. okay, very good. Poor Linda, my God. She has uh, here the example of two very rebel workers. Because like, she, that's not my fault. I need to go at 5 p.m. <laughs> and then she's going to pay over time, she's going to invite the dinner, she's going to do an extra effort to have the workers doing it. And she was checking on the surveillance cameras. That Juan de Dios was just throwing the boxes to the warehouse. <laughs> hey, Juan de Dios, that is not from God, Juan de Dios. Hmm? 
El niño dio llora cuando pasan estas cosas. <risa> Juan de Dios solo Cualquier tiraba las cajas. En la realidad es pura coincidencia. Solo tiraba las cajas en la bodega, vea. Ok, good. So, poor Linda, she's going to invite the dinner tomorrow. And for sure, they are going to receive the extra time for the money and for the extra work. Diana, Jorge, and Norma. Go ahead. Diana, Jorge, and Normita. Action. Okay, we chose the same scenario and we are a mini supermarket that is growing. So our warehouse is getting little for all the products we own and we are losing the organization, making it difficult to give order on the warehouse. <laughs> so our manager wants to speak with us. Oh I'm my the, goodness. And the, 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 the manager teacher. Hmm, the angry one. <laughs> Yana, what happened with the warehouse? That's terrible. You can find anything in there. That's a big problem. Hey, boss, that's not my fault. That's Norma's business. Oh, Diana, but the problem is we need a bigger warehouse. I know we have problem with the warehouse. As a result, we need to outsource the storage. Uh, but in the meantime, what can we do? Um, I don't know, maybe we can organize all the products and put it in order. Yeah, so the use of method, for example, the uh, method PEPS, first entry, first exit, for example. I like the, the idea, but you, you have to, to work in the weekend. We're going to do it, but, but you have to come to... <laughs> Don't worry about the pay. That's, that is, it, there is enough to, to do that work. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, very good. Don't worry about the payment because we have enough to cover all your expenses. That was good, Mr. Boss. Okay. But he doesn't want to help us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to be there. Hey, well, what happens? Like, the leader, follow my example and everything. Pónganse la camiseta. Aha, uh -huh, boss. <laughs> I, I, have to, I have to run in the weekend picture. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay very good. Cristia and uh, Rocio, go ahead. Yeah, I'll be here. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, let's start. So. Hello? Hello? You say hello. You, you, you. Hello. Yes, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sí, 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 te, sí te escuchamos, Cristian. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Hello, Rocio. Can you bring me to the warehouse some screw, please? Of course. Let's go to the warehouse, but I think we have a little problem. <laughs> um, the warehouse is disorganized. disorganized. And not to say a mess. First, we, we need to organize all these products, and then I will bring you the screens. Oh. <laughs> the, the Chris, Christian said that she had to leave. Well, you know, I, I really appreciate that you're going to give us the script. So I'm going to take it to the bus because she had to leave. Yeah, she had some issues in her life. Thank you, Rocio, for your kindness. <laughs> very good, Rocio, very good. We survived, we survived. And last but not least, let's go with the last group. I am going to go with the last group. Yeah, and let me see. I have a Carolina, Manuel, and Tatiana. Yeah. 
teacher, we chose the first picture. That, there you go. Aha, uh -huh. the angry boss. <laughs> Action. Eh, Manuel and Carolina, I need to talk with you. Please come to my office. Okay. Let's go. Manuel, I need to know if the final balance of sales of June is already finished. And Carolina, I need to the presentation of our new product for today. There is no more time. Okay. What happened, Manuel? Okay, I have to see that. No, yes, Tatiana. Why Post. not? I need more time to complete the information. May I give you tomorrow? No, we need the balance for today, Manuel. We don't have... Yes. The problem I... is because the IT department asked me for the analysis of the inventory for the end of the month. And I need a lot of work for today. I need more time. Uh, Carolina. All excuses, okay. Manuel. Okay, but uh, I I leave the rest of what I'm I'm working um so I can get it out in time for today, Tatiana. Microphone, microphone. No microphone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I said, Carolina, we need to be fast, faster. Okay, Tatiana. We don't have time. We need to finish today. So I need that for, for today. Okay. Uh, Manuel, Manuel, yes. I annoy me that this woman asks works question every day yeah. and ask for more information. And we have so many other things to the end. She doesn't consider that we are overloaded with work and she doesn't help you. Yes, you're right. Tatiana is a bad, bad boss. Because, uh, I don't have information because the, the sales department, they don't give me the information of the uh, customer on, on time. In addition, the purchasing order, I'm not fine. Finish to do deliver the, the shipment. Yeah, Manuel. <laughs> yeah. I love Manuela. Okay. Um, Permítame. Uh. Eh, Carolina en Manuel los esperan en recursos humanos. <laughs> Please, because, HR, because, HR. because we have surveillance cameras and eh, Tatiana was listening to all the things that you were saying. So please go to human resources. <laughs> But please, before going to human resources, give the report and the presentation. Okay. <laughs> My God, Tatiana is a very bad boss. You see, Tatiana, they have a lot of things to do and you are pushing them and pushing them and pushing them oh, with yes. things. My I goodness. I think I think yeah, I, I, I have the skill of boss. Yeah, you have you have these managing yeah. skills indeed. Yeah. <laughs> very no ayuda, no ayuda, no ayuda. Pide, pide, pide. She's always I asking boss. I am the boss. She's always asking for things. Thank you very much, team. Very good job. Very good job, my dear team, with the presentations and the situations, right? The situations that you were presenting were very accurate, depending on the different problems that we always face in the different workplaces, right? So uh, in your opinion, in your opinion, right? I have here, what aspects, and this is your personal uh, opinion, what aspects or behaviors affects productivity in a workplace? Organization. Negative. 
Negative. Organization, negative what? Negative? Behavior. At negative attitude. behaviors, negative attitudes. Indiv Individualism. Individualism. What? Gossip. Gossiping. Gossiping. Yeah, for sure. Qué bárbaro, Manuel y Carolina. <laughs> Gossip, gossip, gossiping the about the bus, right? I see you in the human resource. <laughs> yeah, the meetings in human resources. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What other what other aspects affect uh, productivity? The communication. Teacher. Communication. Lack of, lack of communication. Lack of communication. Do you think? Okay, lack of organization. Do you think Bad that? Operation. Okay, bad operation. Do you think that the social media affects productivity? Definitely. Yes. In which aspects? In actuality, yes. Distract, distract the people. Most of the time. Okay, because, because of the distraction that it creates, right? a lot of time in Facebook. The people, okay, people spend a lot of time in Facebook. Now people spend a lot of time on TikTok. And they are just there checking like, videos or doing videos at the moment of being working. I have seen many people who have been uh, fired from their jobs because they were doing TikToks in the office and yeah. about the office, right? <laughs> because the internet is necessary in the in each, in each computer. Exactly like but that. The, the workers the uh, abuse to the to the resource of the they are, they are, they abuse of the source of work that they have at the office right what about yeah. people who watch movies at work have you ever experienced that situation of have a co-worker who watches movies or facebook or tiktok or whatever thing at work I was that. A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of I used to do it. Yeah. No, but in some cases, if you do it, for example, when it is your lunch time or your lunch break yeah. and you watch movies mm -hmm. on your lunch break, that's okay. But yeah, I know some okay, people, right? I know some people who do it. I mean, at seven in the morning when they enter. Yeah, I <laughs> have, I have, yeah I have, what? I had two workers uh, that uh, he study also uh, English class, <laughs> but he in the class uh, <laughs> he, he he was uh, playing. Oh my he, goodness! In the, in the he was he was in class and he was playing at the same time. So. Yes, I think yes, those teacher. those are the factors that affect the productivity because imagine if you are supposed to be working and paying attention, you are not supposed to be chilling around with with whatever other thing, right? Uh, yeah, I I had a friend in a previous previous job that at seven in the morning he had some pupusas there eating at seven in the morning, and then at eight he was drinking coffee. At eight <laughs> thirty. Boy for pancitos, do you want? And he used to go to buy. And he used to spend like 20 minutes at the store. And then at nine, it was like, okay, let's work. But two hours later. I'm ready. Uh -huh. I'm ready to work. <laughs> I'm ready to work from nine to 11. Because at 11, he used to say, what are we going to eat for lunch? And he used to look for the lunch. And from, from 11.30 to one, it was the lunch time. I'm working for <laughs> hours. Yeah, only all working. Day. Only working for hours. Four hours in all day. Yeah, because at 3 p.m., coffee. Coffee time. The attendance. Oh, for sure. Right now. <laughs> you see, because we were chilling here the talking about coffee. Almost, the the, the time, time is over. almost over. Almost over, right? El tiempo vuela cuando nos divertimos. Imagínense. Yes. Si estuviéramos en una clase ahí toda aburrida, no sintiéramos que pasan los minutos. <laughs> okay, my dear class, let me just uh, call out your names and before everything happens because it's raining a lot. Carolina y Amilet. 
Carolina Yamilet. <laughs> ahí se me fue. La acabo de ver ahí sentada. Me dio, eh? Go to the bed. Carolina. Ni a Carolina. Ok. Claudia <laughs> María. <laughs> Claudia María. <laughs> present teacher. It's Ay, es que andaba en, en recursos humanos. <risa> Hola, present teacher. No, me estaba tomando mis pastillitas. Para... No, no, no. Me estaba tomando mis pastillitas para que no me dé un ataque con esa jefa que tengo. El reporte, el reporte de homework. <laughs> okay, very good, Hi. Claudia Maria is not here. Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Here teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos. Se me fue con un rayo. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Juan de Dios. Present, sí. Linda Ivette. Present, teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present, present. Nelson, pobrecito que no le llegó la luz. Eh, <laughs> let's see. Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Olga Marleni. Present, teacher. Rocío Verónica. <laughs> Rosa Beatriz Rosita Beatriz Rosita Beatriz era mi one on one se me perdió ah no, Silvia Suleim Silvia Suleim es mi one on one Present. Silvita, thank you Tatiana Michelle Present teacher Vilma Ivet Present teacher Marlene Omar and Dani. Dani, Dani, se me pierde Dani. Okay, good. So those are the things that for sure are going to affect a lot at the moment of having productivity at work, right? The most, the biggest enemy right now is social media because people yeah. use the work time to start checking WhatsApp, to start checking Facebook, to start doing things. So, it's like that, right? Yo por eso los empiezo a molestar por ahí de las cuatro. <laughs> Porque ya terminaron de trabajar. <laughs> so, that's, that's why. Okay, so, based on this one, right, we have been working today a lot on these type of processes, right? The ones that are on the manual, right? The inbound process, the layout and slotting, the picking, the packing, the shipping, and the managing of returns, right? Those are the things that we need to be very careful at the moment of working with the warehouse. So in that case, we are going to uh, decrease a lot of the problems that we have at the moment of uh, working with the things that we actually need to be organized. So here on this one, we have been discussing about a lot of problems at the moment of working, right? We have been discussing a lot of productivity. We have been discussing a lot on how to manage the products. And we were discussing as well about the problems with the employees. What are the ones that affect the most? So if we could categorize or if we could classify the different problems between workers, which would be your number one problem? You say inaccurate receipts or purchase, lack of communication, lack of cooperation, the time management or the warehouse space and organization. Which one do you think is the top problem of all these problems? De todos estos problemas que están aquí, ¿cuál creen ustedes que sería el, el número uno, el más problemático? Lack of communication between Lack. employees. Lack warehouse of communication. Yeah. and organization. Ok, warehouse space and organization. Si se recuerdan las tres fotos, ¿cuál sería el, el problema para esta situación? Para warehouse space and organization. Which picture will apply? 
Number picture number two, two right? Yeah. Picture number two. Yeah. What about uh, inaccurate receipts and purchase orders? Picture number one. one. Picture number one. Yes, or it can be also picture number three. Because in this case, it will be yeah. inaccurate labels. <laughs> because there <Yeah>. are no... <laughs> porque no tienen. <laughs> inaccurate labeling. And this will be inaccurate space and organization, right? And let's go back here. Uh, lack, of, lack of communication between employees. Which picture will represent this one? Wow. Uh, picture, picture number, number one. one, right? Picture number one, because we were having uh, issues with the bus, uh, bus and bus. for sure the bus was angry with us and he was <laughs> yelling us at the moment of working, right? The next one, <laughs> the next one here is a lack of cooperation between departments. Hubo una conversación que lo demostró. Which was, do you remember? The lack of cooperation between departments. We have the one. The, the number. The, the, um, number one. Number one, right? And also when Juan de Dios was doing it with yes. Miguel and Linda, right? That they say like, no, I don't want to poor do Linda, it. Poor Linda, poor Linda. Uh -huh. I don't want to do it. You are not paying me. <laughs> And also Diana, that she was inviting Jorge. They needed, they needed to pay overtime. Uh -huh, but they didn't want to cooperate. And Jorge, the he said like, no, I want, I need to go running on the weekend. I am not going to help you. You do it. <laughs> so and poor oh Diana there. She is going to organize the supermarket. And time management, for sure. If the things are not organized, everything is going to be a mess but uh, in general the most complicated one is lack of communication between employees because if you don't communicate for sure things are not going to work what about the next situation what is the next issue in this case i have them here with numbers let, let me share it here I have the top one is lack of communication. The next, yes. lack of lack cooperation. Of because if they don't talk to each other, they are not going to cooperate with each other. Yes. Then for number three, it will be inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. It's like, Ay, así ponele cualquier recibo me mete ahí. And that's not correct, right? The time management, if you are wasting your time, at the moment of working, for sure, you are not going to be doing the correct things. And the last problem will be the warehouse space and organization. That will be on the top 10 problems, the last one. But if you have good employees who work together in a good way, they are going to cooperate with the other departments and everything is going to be a little bit more organized. So my dear students, thank you for this, uh, for cooperating with the process of learning. And as we have very good communication, we are going to be improving every single day. Have a beautiful night. And I am going to stay for some minutes with Silvia for the one-on-one. -on -one. Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Good night, tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a beautiful night. Bye. Bye. Hi, have a beautiful night. Hello, Silvita. Hello, Silvita. <laughs> oh my God, we have had a lot of connectivity issues, I know. <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, Silvia, basically the one-on-one -on -one is for you to work a little bit on a specific things that you need to improve. So, in general, Silvia, how have you felt in class? Um, I don't understand of the connectors. So, ¿Cómo se llama? Ah, the, the connectors, you have issues uh -huh. to understand them. 
Uh -huh. These ones, let me just share it back. The connectors, for example, here. Okay, here. I am going to take this ones, the linking words. Okay, the linking words in, in general are words that you use to connect ideas, right? Casi siempre los conectores van a ser esos que nos ayuden a no dejar las ideas sueltas, por ejemplo. ¿Por qué? Porque nosotros tenemos como la costumbre de ocupar siempre los mismos conectores. Vea. And, because, and, because. Y no pasamos de esos mismos dos. Vea. Y siempre ocupamos esos para conectar las ideas. Los conectores son como la, la peguita que ocupamos entre ideas. Vea. ¿Para qué? Para que nosotros digamos y expresemos, por ejemplo, resultados, contrastes, eh, que detalles, énfasis, que agreguemos información eh, a, a lo que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, en español decimos, y después de esto, y además, y aparte de eso, eh, no solamente, pero que eh, esos son nuestros conectores en español. Okay. Si nosotros nos pasamos al inglés, los usamos para conectar las ideas. Y usted le I was, I was studying English last year. And besides that, I was working. In addition, I was taking a course at the university. Right? And you are adding more ideas to the process. The ones that we were studying here for result, for example, you have to have two situations. And one is the result of the other one. In, in the case, okay, le voy a poner un ejemplo de los que vamos a ocupar el día de mañana. Ok. Uh, por aquí tengo los que vamos a usar mañana. Here it is. Let me see. Ok. Here. I have. The warehouse was completely disorganized. En esto, lo que vamos a hacer el día de mañana es que ustedes van a ocupar uno de los conectores para completar la idea. Okay. Tendríamos que completar uno de estos de resultados. Llevémoslo para allá. Ok. Here, 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 here. Ok, veamos. Here we go. Ok, here. Aquí lo voy a dejar para que los trabajemos. Ok. Vamos a ocupar estas palabras que le pongo aquí, Silvia. ¿Cómo completaría usted esta idea que le doy aquí? La primera, por ejemplo, que dice, The warehouse was completely disorganized, poniendo un conector de resultado y otra frase. Okay. The warehouse um, was completely disorganized. Consequently, I don't, I don't miss, uh, I don't, ¿cuál es encontrar? <laughs> ah, I didn't find. I didn't find. I didn't find what? I didn't find. What? ¿Qué fue lo que no hallaste? Uh, I didn't find? The, the, the fruits. Consequently, I didn't find the fruits, right? Because this one is in past, como aquí lo tenemos en pasado, tenemos que tener el cuidado de saber mm -hmm. en, qué, en qué tense está la oración. Vea. The warehouse mm -hmm. was completely disorganized. Consequently, I didn't find the fruit. Mm -hmm. Imagine if I say the warehouse is. Imagínense que aquí no dijera was, sino que is. The warehouse is completely disorganized. So in the in the connector, you are going to use another present. You say, consequently, I cannot find the fruit. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So you have to be careful with the tense. Imagine the second one. The manager lost the receipts of all the products. Perdió los recibos de todos los productos. As a result, as a result, I, I can, mm -hmm. I couldn't, I can, uh, the pay, I couldn't pay, right? As a result, mm -hmm, I couldn't pay. I couldn't pay, right? Because mm -hmm. I didn't have the receipts, right? The products were not in order. 
um, for this reason for this reason i i wasn't mm -hmm. to sell okay for this reason i wasn't selling right the products were not in order for this reason i wasn't selling right the personal mm -hmm. was trained in all the process el personal estaba entrenado para todos los procesos um, Therefore, therefore, es en español, teacher. Therefore, it's like, eh, gracias a eso, therefore, y así, o por eso. Oh, okay. The personal was trained. The personal was trained in all the process. El personal estaba entrenado para todos los procesos. Therefore, they, they, they were now the <laughs> the uh <-huh>. process. <laughs> okay, the personal was trained in all the process. Therefore, they were very organized. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they were working well. Therefore, they were mm -hmm. working in an organized way. So, los conectores más que todos los ocupamos, Silvia, para eh, el hecho de conectar nuestras ideas, el hecho de dar como mm -hmm. es, esa transición entre ideas. Y tenemos diferentes eh, tipos de conectores. Por ejemplo, estos de resultado que decimos una idea tuvo resultado sobre la otra. En, uh -huh. en otros conectores, por ejemplo, en los conectores de énfasis, es cuando tú estás contando algo y quieres enfatizar lo que vas a decir después. Entonces, los conectores okay. de los que ocupas para hacer resumen, por ejemplo, es como para cerrar las ideas. Los que estuvimos ocupando uh -huh. para, las, para los procesos, el, la semana pasada estuvimos ocupando unos para procesos. Por ejemplo, cuando decíamos cómo hacer un sándwich. You say, first you do this. Second you do this. Third you do that. Later, following, after, right? For you to explain the process. ¿Por qué? Porque en español decimos siempre, right? Y después, y después, y después, uh -huh. y después. Entonces es como el mismo sí, conectado. Pero no usar vamos. solo el para y no. then, y then, Exacto. and then, and then. Exactly like that. Entonces aquí a nosotros decimos eh, primer paso, segundo paso, tercero, después de esto, siguiendo, para continuar, ¿ok? Para que usted tenga esa variedad de palabras y no se quede solo en el vocabulario básico de eh, los linking, que son and and because, uh -huh. and and later. So, eso es más que todo para lo que lo ocupamos. Y... La cosa que yo les presenté bastante es para que ustedes puedan tener como una variedad de donde elegir ¿verdad? al momento de estar hablando. No lo van a ocupar todos quizás en una conversación, pero no van a ocupar solamente en y because para que puedan ocupar diferentes okay. conectores. Igual les compartí un link en, la, en el WhatsApp donde estaban todos ahí en estado y estaban un poquito más explicados para que siempre los vayan conociendo y los puedan ir ocupando. Okay. Mañana vamos a trabajar un poquito más en los conectores para okay, que los teacher. podamos, para que los podamos poner un poquito más en práctica. Vamos a ocupar este ejercicio que le enseñé. Ya vio la clase mañana. <risa> sí. Ajá. Vamos sí, a ocupar. <risa> Ajá. Vamos a ocupar un poquito más los conectores para que ustedes también tengan como esa variedad de cómo poderlos ocupar. ¿verdad? Así que eso es, eso es más que todo. En general, Silvia, otra cosa que en la que usted necesite que yo le colabore un poquito más. Mm, ahorita eso chan. ahorita los conectores ok y en las cuestiones uh -huh. del inglés en general ¿qué, qué es lo que usted considera que se le dificulta más lo que pasa es de que si bien es cierto he llegado a este nivel pero como hay compañeros que a la fecha lo hablan muchísimo más fluido entonces a veces pues terminan perdiéndose uno con lo que dicen verdad uh -huh. pero trato la manera de agarrar lo más que pueda, pero sí, eh, eso me cuesta un poco cuando se ponen a hablar bastante fluido, porque me quedo un poco atrás. No, but I think we need to practice. The idea is that you need to practice as much as you can for you to develop more and more uh, vocabulary. And if it is difficult, I mean, to practice a little bit more, right? Practice, practice, practice. For example, the exercise of the reading, 
helps you a lot for you mm -hmm. to practice, right? It helps you with your fluency mm -hmm. and also investigation, right? Are you checking on the videos of the manual? ¿Estás revisando los videos del manual? Así como les, les sí, recomendaba bueno. un día de esto. Ok, watch the videos, sí. get vocabulary and practice, right? Practice with sentences that okay. you see on the videos. Ok, Silvia, tomorrow we are going to work on the transitional okay. words so you can practice a little bit more. And if you have any further questions, send me a message on the WhatsApp. So, teacher, can you help me with this? And I can help you with it. Ok, and with the process of the platform, are you advancing? Um, yes, only I don't, I don't make the work, the, the homework today. Ok, do it please. Uh, we finished them already, right? Las hicimos en la clase del día viernes. Por si este, todavía yes. queda alguna duda, you can check on that. Ok, so thank you Silvia for okay, staying teacher. in these minutes. I am going to see you tomorrow with this practice so we can have the chance to practice a bit more on the, on the transitional words, okay? Okay, teacher, bye -bye. thanks. Take care, thank you very much, bye-bye.